Hello, it's a Mighty Marvel Show, and I'm Paul, and oh my goodness, I am raging. I have turned blue with anger. I need to go and meditate in a nice, calm place, or take myself off to a cool, dark, isolated area, and relax. No, it's not that bad. It's not really not that bad. I am over-exaggerating the issue. However... I do want to have a little bit of a grumble about the new Marvel Legends reveal, which is a two-pack of Hyperion and Doctor Spectrum from the Squadron Supreme, revealed today by Hasbro Pulse. Now, I do like the Squadron Supreme. I've had a lot of fun posing the Nighthawk figure previously, and I was looking forward to building a Squadron Supreme team. But, uh uh not with these two figures because I just think they're really disappointing and I don't like to rant and I don't like to grumble but unfortunately Q Hasbro hate on the way because I just think it's a really disappointing set again so if you break it down Hyperion and Dr Spectrum I'll start with the Hyperion figure now it's a big chunky build I do like a big chunky figure um but I think the missed opportunities here, this looks like an older body. I'm trying to work out actually who they've adapted the body from here. But the disappointing things, it is not pinless. And it really should be. There's no excuse now for not being pinless. I know I'm not being a toy snob. I'm sure it was 2023 now. We, are, we know we're already past having these pinned joints. We know we can get past it. So what does it make you think? Straight away, it's a lazy repaint and a reissue. And that's effectively what we're looking at here. I like the colour scheme on this Hyperion. I would have maybe preferred the darker version, but I do like the colour scheme on it. But I don't like the fact that it is bland. You're going to have that great big girder, um, girder? girdle around his middle there, his big, you know, his big belt piece there. Now, one, put some detail on it, put a bit of weathering on it, Put some actual sort of colour scheme so it's got that metallic effect to it. It's just a plain yellow, cheap, nasty, painted job there. And it's obviously going to take away the ab crunch from that figure, which is a real disappointment as well. So, and it just looks bland. And I'm looking at that again. And uh, yes, I think the boots, the boots just look like it's painted onto the leg there. It doesn't look any detail at all in those boots. It looks really dull boring and lifeless and i'm not a fan of that look to it moving on to dr spectrum now i love the color scheme in dr spectrum i love the character again a reuse of the dr strange magical effect set yes fine not unexpected on that and yeah they got a little bit of a cool rainbow tint through them as well but come on dr spectrum is a really bright obviously colorful character because he's got all the colors of the dirt spectrum so they're just missing a trick here. This just takes me back and reminds me about the Fallen One uh, figure, the Herald of Galactus that we got in that two-pack with Terax. It's just plain. There's no, there's not even any cell shading to it. There's no sort of catch the light on it. There's no effect on the paint. It's just a bland paint app. And what's really even more annoying, if you look at the underarm in the picture here, it's just got the blue of the body underneath it. So they haven't even bothered to paint that out. So you just, at least when you lift his arms up, because he flies, by the way, when you lift his arms up, you don't want to see the blue under his arm there. You just want to see the proper colour scheme under it. And then, again, I just think it's a real disappointing set. And it is, once again, just annoying collectors at the moment because it's high prices. That's going to be £50, $50 as well. That's a lot of money a lot of money for two but yeah 25 dollars a figure okay get that that's that's okay that's probably about where we are at the moment but that's so i'm okay on the price to be honest for the two figures but again for that price you just put a bit more quality and put a bit more effort into it there is nothing it doesn't look to be that i can see any accessories with hyperion at all it doesn't even look like they're separate fists on it i'm actually yeah trying to look through those those images now and it doesn't look like he's got any accessories with him at all so i i just think again that's just totally totally wasteful no hands no second head sculpt dr spectrum again doesn't like any hands there you've just got the magical effects and you've got his um his quartz uh ruby there so again 
it's just missing more opportunities it's missing more tricks i think it's just annoying collectors again and that is disappointing and i am really really i promise going to try and stop doing these whingy videos about these figures because i do love collecting but these are a pass for me i will not be getting involved on these ones as much as i would love to build a squadron supreme set i'm not gonna so it's a pass for me what are you doing tell me let me know and are you fed up a moment about hasbro or do you get it are you in the same position at the moment let me know what you're thinking stick it in the comments i haven't even bothered mentioning when the pre-orders are they're going out at some point soon in the next couple of months if you want them keep an eye on the hasbro site tell me if you do like comment subscribe and that's it i'm now off to go back and play with some of my figures i really do love bye for now